Today we're taking a look at the Rutgers vs Clemson match, which is happening on Friday, March 19, 2021 at 9.20 p.m., and giving you my betting tips and predictions in general on this game. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it, also. Don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos. The Rutgers Scarlet Knights will play their first NCAA tournament game in 30 years when they take on the Clemson Tigers in the Midwest region first round on Friday night in Indianapolis. Rutgers is the number 10 seed at 15-11, 10-10 Big Ten, after being demolished 90-68 by the Illinois Fighting Illini in the second round of the Big Ten tournament as an 8-point underdog last Friday. 7th seeded Clemson was bounced in its first conference tournament game last Wednesday, as it was upset 67-64 by the Miami Hurricanes as a 9-point favorite to fall to 16-7, 10-6 ACC. This will be just the fourth meeting between these two programs and the first since 2015, with Clemson leading the series 2-1. Number 10 Rutgers got off to a 3-6 start in Big Ten play before rattling off four consecutive wins to get above .500. The Scarlet Knights picked up a win over Indiana in the Big Ten tournament before falling to eventual champion and number one seed Illinois. They can best be described as a solid Big Ten team. They usually beat teams that were worse than them, but they lost to teams that were better than them. They only had one win against a ranked opponent and it came in December. Rutgers is an average offensive team, listed at number 74 in Ken Palm's adjusted efficiency ratings. The Scarlet Knights are facing a Clemson defense that is number 20 in adjusted efficiency, but it was the top-rated defense for the first month of the season. Junior guard Ron Harper Jr. leads Rutgers with 15.4 points and 5.9 rebounds per game. He poured in 21 points in the loss to Illinois last Friday. Senior guard Jacob Young is scoring 14.4 points and is dishing out 3.5 assists. He's a capable three-point shooter, knocking down 36.0% of his attempts from beyond the arc. Senior guard Geo Baker is also in double figures, averaging 10.1 points and 3.1 assists. Clemson appeared to be heading into the postseason on a high note with six wins in its final seven regular season games, but suffered a seed-damaging loss to open the ACC tournament against Miami. The Tigers were in command early with a 21-12 lead, but Miami responded with runs of 10-0 and 16-2, and the Hurricanes held on as Isaiah Wong hit a pair of key free throws in the final seconds. Amir Sims continued his strong campaign with 17 points, 8 rebounds, 4 assists and 2 blocks, with Hunter Tyson adding 16 points on April 4 shooting from three-point range. Clemson shot a health 12-23 from three overall, but couldn't match Miami shooting 53.7% from the field overall. I think we got sped up a little bit and let their pressure bother us and take us out of our offense. In a situation like that, you get frustrated, you have mental lapses, and you start to make a mistake after mistake, Sim said via Sports Illustrated. Clemson is now an even 11-11-1 against the spread and has failed to cover in three of its last four games including a double-digit loss at Syracuse near the end of the regular season. Overs are 12-11 for the Tigers after both of their last two games went over the betting total. The Tigers have struggled to score at times this season with an average of 65.3 points per game on shooting splits of 49.2% from two and 34.6% from three. Clemson ranks 14th nationally in scoring defense at 62 points per game allowed with opponents shooting 47.4% from two and 33.8% from beyond the arc. Sims turned in an excellent season with an average of 13.3 points, 6.3 rebounds and 2.7 assists per game on 52.3% shooting from the floor to lead Clemson in each. Alamir Dawes is next up at 9 points per game with 38.4% shooting from 3-point range. Clemson does not expect to have any injuries or absences ahead of the NCAA tournament. The Rutgers Scarlet Knights enter the tournament splitting their last 8 games. 
the Rutgers Scarlet Knights are averaging 70.4 points on 45.2% shooting and allowing 68.1 points on 41.7% shooting. Ron Harper Jr. is averaging 17 points and 6.5 rebounds while Jacob Young is averaging 13 points and 1.9 rebounds. Gio Baker is dishing 4 assists and Miles Johnson is grabbing 9 rebounds. The Rutgers Scarlet Knights are shooting 31.6% from beyond the arc and 62.4% from the free throw line. The Rutgers Scarlet Knights are allowing 32.9% shooting from deep and are grabbing 33.5 rebounds per game. The Clemson Tigers enter the tournament winning 6 of their last 7 games. The Clemson Tigers are averaging 65.4 points on 42.6% shooting and allowing 61.8 points on 41.3% shooting. Amir Sims is averaging 17 points and 4 assists while Hunter Tyson is averaging 16 points and 7 rebounds. Clyde Trapp is the third double-digit scorer and Alamir Dawes is grabbing 3 rebounds. The Clemson Tigers are shooting 33.8% from beyond the arc and 76% from the free throw line. The Clemson Tigers are allowing 33.5% shooting from deep and are grabbing 30.4 rebounds per game. So here are my betting suggestions for that game. The Scarlet Knights are 2-7 ATS in their last 9 Friday games and 1-4 ATS in their last 5 neutral site games. The Tigers are 6-1 ATS in their last 7 neutral site games and 1-5 ATS in their last 6 games as an underdog. The under is 7-3 in Scarlet Knights last 10 games as a favorite. The under is 4-1 in Tigers last 5 games following an ATS loss. The Rutgers Scarlet Knights are in the tournament for the first time since 1991. So there's motivation here and they get after it defensively. Rutgers is going to be a tough out. However, the Clemson Tigers have wins over Florida State, Alabama, Purdue, North Carolina, Maryland, and Syracuse. That has to count for something. Clemson will also have the best player on the floor in Sims. In a toss-up contest, I'll take my chances with the more proven and battle-tested team, and that's Clemson in this spot. My first betting advice is to pick Clemson Tigers plus one. Both squads take their time on offense, with Clemson ranking 338th in adjusted tempo and Rutgers ranking 213th. Clemson rarely gets out in transition, and both teams take their time when in the half court. Expect a lot of walking it up the court in long, drawn out possessions that use most of the shot clock on both sides of the court. Both offenses are up against buzzsaw defenses and will have a difficult time executing. Rutgers 18th and Clemson 20th, both rank in the top 20 in adjusted defensive efficiency. The Scarlet Knights defense matches up very well with Clemson and has the ability to take away what the Tigers do best. Rutgers has two great interior defenders in Johnson and Omri who should be able to slow down Sims. The Tigers already struggle from inside the arc, so this matchup plays right into Rutgers hands. While Clemson does have some dangerous outside shooters, it'll have a difficult time getting going against a Scarlet Knight defense that allows only 32% from deep. Rutgers has a few more scoring options than the Tigers, with Baker and Jacob Young joining leading scorer Harper in averaging double figures. However, Harper and Baker have struggled from three this season, as has the team as a whole. Rutgers is just 31.1% from deep as a club. If shots aren't falling early, it could be in for a long night against the relentless, disciplined Tigers defense. The total opened at 127 and has been gradually dropping since Sunday night. It currently sits at 125.5 across the market, and I think it's worth a play down to 125. My second betting advice for you is to pick under 125.5. Good luck to all of you. That's it for this video. Stay tuned and stay safe for the next betting tips and advice.